we're asked to rationalize and simplify. And once again, rationalize, this part right here just means to get rid of any of the square roots or any of the radicals in the denominator. So we really want to get rid of this somehow. And it won't be as simple as multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the principal square root of x, because if we did that, we would multiply the principal square root of x times this, and that would get rid of the radical here. But then you would have negative 1 times the principal square root of x. So it would still stick around the denominator. So the way to rationalize something like this, where you have a binomial with a, with a radical in it in the denominator, is to multiply by the, this is a fancy word I'm about to say, by the conjugate of the denominator. So you have square root of x minus 1. And so what you do is you want to multiply the denominator by the square root of x plus 1. And I'll show you in a second why, why we're doing that. And of course, anything you multiply the denominator by, you also have to multiply the numerator by. Otherwise, you're actually changing the, changing the value of the, of the expression. So this is just going to be 1. So we're just multiplying the whole thing by 1. And the key that I want to point out is why this is going to work. Why does it make sense to multiply by, once again, fancy word, the conjugate? And the conjugate will show up mainly when you're trying to rationalize denominators like this, or when you're trying to get imaginary numbers outside of denominators. So in this case, we want to get rid of a radical. And in future videos, we'll try to get imaginary numbers, and don't worry if you don't know what those means, out of radicals. But that's where the conjugate shows up. It's a fancy word, but all it means is if I have a plus b, the conjugate of a plus b is just a minus b. So literally, I just swapped the sign right over there. And why it's good to multiply an expression like this times its conjugate is because you end up getting a difference of squares. If you do a plus b times a minus b, and we've seen this multiple times, this is the same thing. This is equal to a squared minus b squared. You can do the distributive property twice and see how everything simplifies out. It comes out to a squared minus b squared. So let's apply that right over here. In, our, in the problem we need to rationalize and simplify. So let's, let's, multiply out the, let's multiply out the numerator first, just so that's, since that's easy. So we have x times this entire expression over here. So we can distribute the x. So it's x times the principal square root of x. That's the x times this right over here. And then we multiply the x times the 1, so plus x. So that's our numerator. And then our denominator. We have a minus b times a plus b is one way to view it. So that's going to be a squared. So think of it this way. Think of this as a, and think of the 1 as a b. So this is a minus b, and then this is a plus b. So this is going to be a squared minus b squared when you multiply it out. It's, you're going to get a difference of squares. So a squared, so if you have the square root of x squared, that's just going to give you x. So this is going to give you this is going to give you x when you square this minus 1 squared. Well, what's 1 squared? Well, it's just 1. And so you could say that we are done, but there might be, let's see, is there anything more that we could is there anything more that we could simplify here? Well, we could factor out an x. If we factor out an x, well then you would just have the x times the square root of x plus 1. Not clear that you can simplify it anymore. So that's 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 about right. You could write, I guess one thing that you could write is you could write this x times the square root of x. You could write that as, since that's x to the first power times x to the 1 half power, you could write that as x to the 3 halves power. Not clear if that's actually a simplification. But this is about as good as you can do, at least at least from my point of view.